day two of the Putting Kids First Tour was an absolutely jam-packed day. We played two courses. The first being Crown Island and the second one being Sunningdale. For those of you finding out about this tour without benefit of context, let me first share with you that we're attempting to play 416 golf courses in 365 days with a goal of raising $1 million for charity. We couldn't possibly do this without the benefit of our sponsors, WarriorCustomGolf.com, Carbon Technical Apparel, Blast Nutrition Bars, and not every day, but most days, we use our turf choppers. On the second day of the tour, we played Crown Island, and it was a wonderful golf course. Their day actually started in their parking lot because they have fantastic services and electrical hookups for our RV. But Tyler Foster, an instructor with Crown Isle and a fresh import from Alberta, I might add, was our playing partner for the day. While he was new to the course, he's already got the lock on where to hit it and where not to hit it. Consequently, he was our human GPS. Postcard views of the mountains abound at Crown Isle. On virtually every hole, you can see the picturesque mountains in the background. The course is incredibly playable, but I must admit, a real test, particularly since we played the tips. While we had no player sponsors for Crown Isle, we were exceptionally fortunate, as they were gracious enough to provide us with eight green fee tickets to donate to Ronald McDonald House of Vancouver. Now, in order for us to set the world record, we have to play eight courses a week, on average, meaning more than one course per day, at least one day per week. On Wednesday afternoon, we played Sunningdale. A fun little course with a fantastic history. More than 75 years old, the course has been home to many competitive golfers. Ann Newman is funny and very talented. In addition to being a professional golfer, she is an accomplished artist. Wednesday is Men's Day at Sunnydale, and we played the back nine with Rick and Carl, two locals who've grown up on Vancouver Island. They made the balance of the round quite enjoyable, giving us some local history, some insights on the course, and insights on some of the other courses that we would be playing the balance of this week. We finished the day with a dinner back at Crown Island. The steaks were fantastic. Love that sterling beef. Mike, the manager of the restaurant, shared with us his sage advice regarding Athans, because Mike and two other keg waiters cycled across Canada raising $250,000 for charity. Speaking of which, this tour would not be possible without benefit of our sponsors. Please take a look at the balance of our website, www dot golf 400.com to find out more about warrior custom golf.com carbon athletic apparel blast nutrition bars u-haul and bridgeburg golf makers of the turf chopper if i could make one request of you it would be to take a look at our calendar and figure out if you can play with us at, one, at any one of our upcoming dates or you know of people who golf and will be in the neighborhood of our tour so that they might join us. Until tomorrow, I'm Jonathan Weaver on the Putting Kids First Tour.